good evening everyone uh, i welcome everyone in uh, maharashtra session the topic naming current status of agriculture and food processing and futuristic opportunity in maharashtra since morning you have been uh, listening many uh, sessions uh, that are were quite different and this is quite different here uh, that was completely one to one understanding or one to one talking on the subjects of their interest the, of interest of the expert panelist now our session will be on focusing on what maharashtra can give to the world and what world can do in maharashtra so this is what we are uh, we will be delivering in this session and our session will be delivered by uh, honorable uh, director agriculture processing and planning department of agriculture government of maharashtra sri sunil borkar sir i warm welcome sri sunil borkar sir on the stage <laughs> friends we all know we are on we are in the 21st century and the century is run by the ai you know very well chat gpt and today i have seen some uh, technologies that are on iot basis so technology is developing day by day accordingly the agriculture is also growing day by day and we are the part of agriculture in the maharashtra who are helping to grow day by day so at one point of time we were something very behind in japan to compare to the japan so japan we you know very well they are uh, very strong in technology then came china came in down now we are also not behind if you see uh, everywhere in the world most of the ceos of good company are from india and again in agriculture also not behind in most of the uh, agriculture commodities we are in rank first or second or somewhere third but we are topping in the world so nevertheless uh, we uh, our intention is to invite uh, world in maharashtra to establish their food sector and the reason what we are having in maharashtra and we wanted to tell you that how you can come and establish your business in maharashtra what agriculture so that is a backbone raw material no matter we have a good policies for uh, establishment of uh, factories fdis in maharashtra from our industries department whereas we are not even behind for providing the agriculture raw material for your industry so yes there is a pol there are policies and people are looking into invest in the maharashtra today morning i was i was looking into the one uh, survey so there out of the total investment in the country nearly 52.7% of fdi is in maharashtra so that's what my maharashtra is favoring to the people of the world so we are not behind in the agriculture as well so we wanted to tell you that what maharashtra can provide to the world and what we can what which industries we can invite from the world in maharashtra i uh, a warm welcome again uh, honorable director sri uh, borkar sir and i would request borkar sir to conduct a session on the uh, uh, futuristic opportunities in maharashtra thank you thank you i welcome all of you i will deliver in both language hindi and english as rightly amol has expressed that uh, you have heard from morning uh, on different aspects but regarding maharashtra hum apko this uh, whole session will be divided in three parts firstly what is the scenario in maharashtra uh, regarding agriculture crops processing industries on this aspect you can see the statistical information second you can get what maharashtra government has a uh, taken steps for food industry for pro 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 uh, processing industry what are the initiatives by the our government so that any industrialist maybe from uh, 
small scale or big scale how he can flourish in maharashtra with the opportunities whatever statistical information we are having or what is our ground reality with that ground reality how you can flourish that will be the second session second topic and lastly the opportunities with the current status basically i am here might be some uh, industrialist they might be thinking how i can enter in maharashtra how can i flourish in maharashtra so what is a real opportunity on that last topic i will share my views so thank you to maharashtra sabko malum hai ki agriculture production mein koi bhi aap crop ka naam lijiye definitely we have done very nicely uh, as our location is in western and central india but our agriculture and industry is our prime sector we have eight agri export zone maybe grape alfonso mango kesar mango onion pomegranate banana orange flower we are ranked first in grape and pomegranate for in a country for production we are largest producer of cashew nut onion turmeric custard apple and second largest producer in banana strawberry mandarin orange and sweet orange never than this we have 38 ji indicator tax we have achieved with all processes formalities we have got 36 geographical indicators that you can be helpful for you for marketing your produce that this is a gi tagged process product this is statistics as i uh, express you we have very much good in production uh, you can see the figures maybe rice wheat pulses banana in fruits banana grapes pomegranate in vegetable we are very good in onion tomato chili and spices ginger turmeric and garlic these are the figures that you can see to so major uh, this uh, these are the major crops i have given but uh, uh, small crops like strawberry we have hub you can get a good quality of uh, strawberry from our small pocket by mahabaleshwar and that you can process there we have small pockets of custard apple in a, a pune district you can get that area likewise you have opportunity you can name a uh, crop you will find a specific pocket area in our maharashtra some might be like a uh, Uh, cooler crops like maybe you can uh, apple and other thing that might not be in uh, maharashtra but major crops are in maharashtra and with good yield uh this is a very good opportunity in maharashtra because area is uh, concentrated for example you can take mango area is near about 1 lakh 30000 but it is a major concentration in three districts ratnagiri sindhudurg and raigad the benefit of that is you can have a your industry in that pocket for if you are searching for mango you can go in the in these three districts likewise pomegranate is a concentrated again in a three district solapur satara sangli banana is a, a, a concentrated in four district this is a beauty that area you can get yield in a small pocket area and you can set up your industry there these are the products or fruits we are exporting and we are topping in country mango is our mango grape we are dominating in whole country again pomegranate orange onion and processed vegetables these are the figures you can see and values give also given in crore so out of total export state has 95 94% share in grape 82% in mango 73% in banana 78% in pomegranate 85% in onion 8% in mango pulp 24% in processed fruit and vegetables that is a beauty of agriculture export you can see in maharashtra this is a infrastructure in marketing we have taken 
every step maharashtra has taken every step to promote hazel free marketing of agriculture products we have direct uh, we have given licenses for direct marketing 1535 so that without any uh, rules regulations you can have a direct sell point with of farmer products e mandi is also developed government warehouse are available for storage of uh, fruit grains e nam mandis are there again this is a, a good facility for marketing purpose now i will uh, turn on second topic this was a uh, regarding statistical information the everything is at place in maharashtra you may can have area productivity good quality marketing facilities storage facilities all infrastructure is at that level in maharashtra now regarding what are government initiatives policies so that you can go ahead for processing for marketing initially we have uh, generally uh, always uh, in uh, in indian co um, co continent whatever our work is there we will find instead of going for a system uh, we will see who is any any is any person who is having good touch with us so we have created one app maitri website maitri means friendship generally we are quite confident if our work is there and we got one friend then there is surety that my work will be get done and on that basis we have developed portal that is maitri it is a single window system whatever may be the your issues you can approach to that maitri portal it is for industry purpose especially for industry purpose and you can solve your all issues it gives one stop solution and provides consolidated information regarding investment process for your expand you may might you want to expand your existing unit or you may want to establish new unit you can be free to approach that portal and you can get information secondly the, through that uh, maitri portal there may be timely approval support to the investor Go, even grievances whatever your grievances may be that can be as addressed through that maitri portal anywhere if you want to go for your uh, establishing unit first issue comes of land and uh, maharashtra everywhere land prices has gone up and also it is very difficult to acquire land in maharashtra in other state it is easy you can go and you can have a land but in maharashtra to have land is a big task but our there is a initiative by our government it is a state industrial land bank there is a website land.midcindia.organization this gives you information regarding the government has developed plots industrial blocks you can access to this uh, portal and you can have a land information about and uh, you can also have a uh, opportunity to have a land uh, for your uh, business pr uh, process also it will give you information land cost and availability of electricity and water there we have develop, uh, uh, developed our startup policy 2018 key advantage of that policy is that reimbursement means state gst whatever state gst we have uh, given reimbursement for that purpose also for stamp duty with the support in quality testing and filing of patents this is a government uh, a government of india's initiative agriculture in infrastructure fund we are Uh, major implementer we are first in implementing uh, this theme agriculture infra uh, infrastructure fund in which you can get 3% in uh, interest subvention maximum up to 7 years for loan for 2 crores that uh, 
maybe pri primary processing, secondary processing industries, they can avail benefits of this uh, government initiative. Government of India's best initiative is the Prime Minister's uh, formalization of food processing industries, PMFME, we, we are calling it. Maharashtra is the number one implementer in this uh, theme. Up till now, we have sanctioned loan for more than 18,678 beneficiaries. We are top in a whole country regarding sanctioning of this uh, uh, subsidy through PMFME. Up till now, there is an investment. This is an investment of small entrepreneurs. And how you can collaborate if there is any big uh, industrialist, I will explain in um, late. Uh, in the uh, last part, okay, how you can collaborate for these small and uh, medium processors. Investment up till now through this scheme is 1,710 crore. And subsidy release is 335 crore. We have given training to 23,000 beneficiaries. So again, there are small self-help groups Today, if you go to my pavilion, you can see very small self-help uh, uh, groups. They have brought their very unique products there. You can see their, uh, uh, which butter? Uh, Kokum butter. Yeah, there is a small group of uh, ladies. They have developed Kokum butter. Instead of uh, cocoa butter, you can utilize that Kokum butter. And that invention is done in Maharashtra through this self-help groups. Such a beauty is there uh, and this PMAP scheme offers 35% of subsidy up to the 3 crore. We are better implementer in and top implementers in India. Uh, this is a figure, the up till now operational units uh, regarding cluster based processing, vegetable onion drying, milk based products, spices, grapes, cashews, millet based products, onion, Rice, uh, pulse based and rice mill. These are the total units established up till now through this scheme. So you can see the beauty of the uh, whole processing industry. This is a huge number. With the help of these units, uh, one big industrialist can go ahead by procuring from these units. Support for common infrastructure. Support for common, uh, they would have provided to FPOs, SSGs, cooperative, any government agency, federation. Common infrastructure created under scheme should be available for other units and public to utilize on hiring basis for sustainable part of capacity. We are offering credit link grant at the rate of 35%. Maximum limit of the grant is 3 crore. This is again, this is a state initiative. We are giving this uh, subsidy. This is through uh, Government of India's PMFME scheme regarding marketing and branding for 50% uh, of the uh, subsidy on total uh, actual expenditure. This is can be utilized for graphic designing, certification, registration, product standardization, market study packaging, printing material, warehousing, listing costs, enrolling third party vendors, promotional activities and also for training and capacity building. Uh, this is very beautiful part for any uh, processor who don't want to process actually but he want to gather the produce from the small processors in Maharashtra which are units are created in PMFP and he can brand them under one uh, common branding and he can sell that produce. This is a good opportunity for such uh, uh, persons who want to have such opportunity. And in Maharashtra, there you can see, uh, just in previous slide you have seen, there are a lot of small processors for every product. You can buy from them, you can have a good branding, quality testing, you can promote that product throughout India and throughout the world. 
irrespective of uh, central scheme maharashtra government has formulated his own scheme we call name is that chief minister agriculture and food processing scheme in that scheme we are offering subsidy up to 30% maximum limit is 50 lakh and under this scheme these are the units these are the projects up till now uh, established in maharashtra for which we have given subsidy of 444 crore and under that uh, this scheme rice mills are developed near about 55 rice mills are developed dal mills are there 45 dal mills are there millet processing that is also near about 29 millet processing units we have developed fruit and vegetable processing oil mill cashew processing jaggery making fruits and vegetable cold room in jaggery making we have mastered there are lot of small units which can give you good quality jaggery products very good quality jaggery products and again variation in that jaggery products not only uh, simple uh, you can have a flavor added products ginger uh, jaggery or coffee jaggery likewise you can get number of additional uh, flavors in every uh, this processing line in oil mill a new concept has started in uh, city culture ki lakdi ghanya varcha tel you might have uh, observed instead of uh, consumers are preferring such oil for healthy reason and you can find these oil mills are on that line so there is only uh, uh, now lacking is that proper branding and marketing of that oil this is very much beautiful part of pmfm scheme and we are much ahead for implementing uh, this component suppose small entrepreneur he don't want to invest money in processing uh, in, uh, in establishing unit of processing then he can get opportunity at this three unit we have created three incubation unit along with uh, some inter uh, mdc is our own organization again sharda bhai power trust is a kvk their uh, government of india's kvk is there and college of food processing uh, food technology at parbani there any processor small processor a small entrepreneur startup man he can have a facility of making his own product with a zero investment he can go there for example he want to make a jaggery coop he will find very nice machinery like this at parbani center he will go there he will prepare jaggery coops and he can brand it by his own name and he can sell so if someone hesitate for investment initial investment for such entrepreneurs we have developed three incubation center he can go there initially for one year two year he can give charges for just processing charges and he will make his own product and he can sell with his own brand this is the beauty of incubation center we have developed at uh, parbani nagpur and uh, pune this is a uh, infrastructure what you are seeing there much ahead uh, we have uh, developed food processing policy in 2017 itself in which what i have uh, just uh, given brief uh, information about chief minister food processing scheme in which we are giving 30% subsidy with a ceiling limit of 50 lakh again there is a exemption in electricity water charges stamp duty exemption also special incentives for are given for women's group all these uh, policy we have formulated in 2017 itself as previously i have told you there are geographical indicators crops which have very special value we buy them with that name in generally if you came to maharashtra then and go to mahabaleshwar 
they will all, you will ask for strawberry. You go for Jalgaon, you will ask for banana. Then you will go, if you go for Solapur, you will ask for Jawar. That is a special Jawar there. And all such products, we have got geographical indi indicators, GI indication for them. And you can have that produce. And you can sell after processing with this GI tags. Yes, it is GI tag crops. These are the various products. Gevda is a local name for uh, pulse crop. Again, Turdal, there is a different. Brinjal, that is a different kind of brinjal in Jalgao. You can get for pomegranate in Solapur, white onion in Alibag. Likewise, is, there are near about 39 uh, GI indicators we have got up till now. Now lastly, I will come to the this point. The beauty of uh, uh, for any big uh, industrialist to come in Maharashtra is that there is our also weakness in uh, one aspect that there are good entrepreneurs what you have seen in uh, previous slides number is big but they are facing issues facing issues re regarding uh, their own branding marketing all these issues they are facing for that purpose they have came here in uh, our stall you can see very good uh, uh, processors you can meet them they are very quality products but somehow because of paucity of fund or all other communication uh, mediums they are lacking for marketing purpose so this part my last part is dedicated to this uh, session we have created FPOs, farmer producing organization. You can name the product, there are FPOs. If you sell, I want banana, instead of keeping your purchaser man in direct field, you can approach simply to the farmer producer organization and he will give you quality, quantity, quality wise, quantity wise, whatever you may require, he will have a loop of his farmers in his group in his, there are 10,650 farmer producing companies he can organize for you he will work for you so there is no initial investment for this purpose initially big companies have a lot of headache for this purpose getting good quality produce from farmers but fortunately there is a good farmers produce FU organization in Maharashtra so, any big entrepreneur who want to establish in Maharashtra, he can have access to this APOs and he can get all produce directly single-handed. He can dictate his quality parameters, his quantity parameters and he can get from one source. That is beauty. Then, there are also, again, there are FPOs who are working in food processing or even individual entrepreneurs. They are working in a food processing. Also, they are facing problem of branding and marketing. Take an example. I will quote an example here of uh, Varun Food Processing uh, that lady Manisha Dhatrak has started in Nashik. Initially, with a small group of ladies, she started and now they are major supplier for Hindustan Unilever for tomato puree. They buy, they uh, contact with farmer, they have good relation with farmer, they buy good quality tomatoes according to need of Hindustan liver, they process at their own unit and they give that puree to Hindustan liver. Then Hindustan liver does next level work. They, for quality parameter, they see, they, for, for branding, of marketing standards, whatever. They do work of next level. So, if any entrepreneur want to develop in Maharashtra, he has no need to work in on initial platform. He has a beauty that all our small entrepreneurs, maybe a PO or small uh, individual entrepreneurs, he can have access to them and he can dictate them. Please prepare jaggery of this size cube with along with this quality and that cube will be with you 
or you can go in a pomegranate and you can say buy pomegranate remove all uh, give me only aerials he will supply you aerials likewise you name your product you can get primary process product with a very good rate with you so that the headache of handling all such issues of big industry will be solved that is the uh, that help that you can get in maharashtra otherwise in other state if you go you have to do initial work you have to work with farmer give them training to grow how quality product can be grown then you have to keep your purchaser person he can take uh, buy from everywhere and then all these raw produce has to come to your company but all these issues can be sorted in maharashtra with this uh, uh, unit these are the potential opportunities in processing sector where is good connectivity uh, new samruddhi mahamarg has been developed uh, and major cities of nagpur aurangabad mumbai are connected through this export oriented food processing hub needs to be created where all uh, that any entrepreneur can create this such food processing hub scope for qualitative and quantitative analytical lab for heavy metals phytosanitary residue limit aflatoxin mycotoxin that lab uh, can be developed and entrepreneur can get opportunity allied from pro food processing to develop such a lab these are the crops and hot fallowed products can be prepared the list is given and as explained by me that just you can in, if you want to work in pomegranate there is lot of uh, that is belt in solapur sangola area you can have very in huge quantity you can get that pomegranate again there are apos you can contact them you can tell them initial work of removing all uh, coverings and you can have a only aerials through them so all work can be uh, you are uh, easy and then you can make these value added products in banana also grape also citrus fruit also lastly i will these are also in vegetable potato tomato green chili brinjal these are uh, value added products can be prepared and also farmers are making uh, apos are making such products you can have a branding for them in millet also uh, we are doing very best we have received gi tag for mangalwada jawar that is the best millet forever now and uh, uh, you can work for that uh, millet also in uh, maharashtra jawar area is very much near about 17 lakh hectare and its production in 18 lakh ton there are the product range jawar flakes puffs uh, dried jawar roti this is a good uh, uh small scale industry to making jawar roti dried jawar roti and you can have a help of shgs for such uh, making rotis and just you, have, you can sell all over world jawar cookies also uh i have given this uh, two success stories here you can meet them also in our pavilion kranti mahila prabhak sangh shirgaon taluka devgad Uh, more than 200 SHGs is member of Kranti CIF. 2,000 SHG members are there, and they are uh, working in cashew nut production, aggregation, and then processing. They have got loan of 18 lakh, and their own contribution was 4 uh, lakh 60 thousand. With that, they are doing very nicely. What you can see there, and again. this is a common infrastructure facility they are having there these are the beneficiary under pmf scheme as i have previously told small entrepreneurs are there they have developed a small small units and with the aggregation of these units uh, one brand can be developed with this uh, small my introduction i will stop my uh, presentation whatever question they will be welcome thank you
thank you sir it was very informative section uh, session uh, from our side of maharashtra uh, we have gone through the right from right from the uh, cultivation to the processing what are opportunities available from the department of agriculture side and the other uh, uh, assistance available from the department so sir have not uh, uh, left any stone unturned everything is covered in the small session whereas uh, if you sir's knowledge is very high sir is doing uh, sir is with the department since last 30 year whereas the this 45 minutes cannot uh, justify the uh, delivery of required delivery from the maharashtra i uh, welcome your questions one by one if anyone have yes sir mic kon mic there My name is Asmo Konatkat, uh, Food Technologies from Mumbai, sir. Uh, it was an excellent presentation uh, right from uh, all the facilities and the projects, uh, uh, facilities given from 2017. I think in this year, uh, there is some facility or some projects are being promoted for uh, radiation therapy uh, for, for uh, onions and potato. And some incentives are being given. Can you just have some highlight on that uh, radiation therapy radiation plants sir irradiation irradiation uh, gamma radiation right right actually sir uh, that is very big project does not fall under the uh, agriculture department okay. whereas i request uh, you to kindly connect with the minister of food processing so they are recently launched this scheme for irradiation so a good amount of subsidies also available for that project if you want to see a demo project it is available uh, in the their uh, section it is very much but very uh, regarding i will uh, regarding mango there is a, a radiation project at washi for export uh, fa facilitating uh, yeah. export yeah. of mango uh, that is under department of um, uh, panand department okay. but it is in at place in uh, washi for export of uh, so mango so it is available common facility or is it yeah it is common facility is common. that you can get ben uh, benefit of that uh, right okay. right it is very, very much available for everyone yeah. thank you any questions yeah. hello sir uh, i am from satara and i have one question recently there was a news that uh, government of india has declared a good uh, a uh, scheme or we can say compensation on exports on onion so what are your views on that first and second about i have been seeing uh, many stalls and they are very impressive uh, also the maharashtra pavilion also uh, what do you think what more efforts must be done to market these things you ask a very critical question regarding onion but uh, the onion is our major uh, production Uh, in Maharashtra, and you might be from Satara, you might be knowing, there are uh, some district which are having huge production of onion, and lot of time what happens? कि at the time of glut, में जो onion production uh, production का peak period जो होता है, उस वक्त में थोड़ा export का कुछ policy में ये हो जाता है. That policy is at government of India level. So as a uh, citizen from uh, india but from basically from maharashtra what i will expect we are expecting that there should not be any hesitation for maharashtra farmers because kya ho jata hai usme jab unka farmer ka aisa hota hai ki uska jab product harvesting hota hai to he want to sell immediately he don't want to keep it uh, for a longer period and if at that time red comes down it gets very difficult for him so agar export ka policy mein kuch regular je if uniformity hai to definitely it helps for farmers thank you hello hello sir good afternoon my name is my name is rohit rathi i am from pune sir uh, thank you for the wonderful presentation i just wanted to understand that uh, there being so many benefits and subsidies provided by you 
is there any agro based uh, subsidy for uh, transportation and logistics of uh, agriculture produce for example if i am purchasing it from an fpo and taking it to a processing center so the logistic cost involved if a person who is hesitant to invest much money in that is there any logistical subsidy for agro based products no up till now it is not available uh, it is not any scope for this in future mm. sir uh, one scheme is there from ministry of food uh, processing no it is for refer van but uh, ref we can you can get subsidy for uh, cold storage products okay. that is refer van but uh, one time uh, subsidy that is not for that uh, on the cost of transportation okay but you can have if you want to purchase refer van uh, you can get a uh, subsidy for that so one it is available in national horticulture mission also right if you want to for the transportation logistic purpose there is scheme called total okay it is available with minister of food processing you have to approach directly to them okay. so but it is not for only a logistic but you have to comply with other back end uh, forward linkage as well so it is available but you have to uh, coordinate with the minister of food processing and uh, it is uh, not always available but you the they express uh, they float the expression of interest so during that time you have to approach to the ministry it is not always available uh, open so we can coordinate with the uh, you can coordinate with the ministry of food processing it is independent scheme called to for example you want to buy a truck and <laughs> transport only and and other thing no. it is very difficult na ke how we can uh, understand that this will be uh, used only for transportation of uh, agri produce no, so <laughs> I, i don't want to buy a truck for example if we go to a transport company and then i want to transport it from the farmer to the factory so sometimes these logistics costs are very heavy for a small entrepreneur so i am trying to understand is there any government subsidy if i give uh, a chalan ki i have transported 3 tons of uh, wheat from the farmer hmm. or rice from the farmer to no, the no, processing no, unit no, no, so is there any subsidy no 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 okay. what you, uh, your answer lies in your question itself now because if you want to uh, start your logistic company then there is no any uh, chance na ki it can be used only for this purpose okay. and after now subsidy for transportation of agri produce is not given thank you thank you sir ha yes very good idea very good idea uh, that we can think ki uh, uh, there are lot of farmers they are having their small produce 50 kg 100 kg 200 kg and if uh, farmer from remote area he want to transport that produce up to bombay up to nagpur then uh, logistic arrangement can be created we can think on that uh, government can think on that ki uh, just like maharashtra government ka st mahamandal hai to usme se public transport ko jata hai on that line there is a separate uh, transportation logistic uh, corporation or maharashtra government's any entity that can handle this produce for uh, transportation from one place to another that you want to say na that's very good concept thank you for that and you can write also to our cm and uh, yeah that is very good concept so it is as good as uh, rail transport yeah 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 so rail transport is very unique and it is very structured yes definitely when you have something with you like chalan of rail transport it is specifically uh, given to you for transport of fruit and vegetable then you can claim like that way it is good it can be a good initiative just you uh, bring it to no, <laughs> yes yes that is a th no, initiative can be done throughout india not only in maharashtra i will say uh, uh, because there is a lot of um, uh, major uh, constraint for, uh, in marketing system uh, you you can see grapes yeah right. yeah yeah absolutely it is yeah. very yeah yeah yes very nice uh, suggestion thank you ma'am thank you right rightly you said uh, like private uh, shipping partners will kill you like hell so post office can come forward with the supported assistant right next any question i think uh, session is uh, was delivered very nicely and very clear cut so that's what very less questions are there okay. is fine come again फार्म लेवल इंश्योरेंस भी है क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस भी है क्रॉप फॉर प्रोडक्शन लेवल 
well, there is a cro crop insurance scheme for production. Uh, for animal, there is a different uh, insurance so scheme. Yeah. No, uh, regarding insurance, wh whatever may be the uh, crop, we are giving insurance in a zero uh, amount. He has to know, uh, he has to pay only one rupee. Yeah, but, but we uh, again, we have uh, invested money, state government has invested money and he has to pay, uh, pay only one rupee for insurance, only one rupee, Fasal Bimayasha, only with, along with only one rupee uh, in Maharashtra, in other state there might be some amount, but yeah, yeah, for uh, horticulture crops, for horticulture crops. Huh. No, for no, for lease land. Huh. For tenant farm. Hmm. 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 Fine, I guess uh, we are more or less done and uh, we are quite closing, miss close to the time hour, uh, our the given time. So I request, uh, so this session was very good, I feel. Uh, it was very informative, uh, informative as well. So I uh, thank everyone who uh, reached here all along the way from all the parts of the country, also from the different uh, parts of the city and who have entered here in the World Food India. So this was very good. I feel uh, this was a very informative section and uh, most of the people got a uh, good idea what Maharashtra can do and what you can do in Maharashtra. So uh, this is time to felicitate our Honorable Director. I request uh, our Deputy Director Nine Ward Sir to give the bouquet to Honorable Director. Director Sir. So this is one more uh, token of love from Minister of Food Processing to State of Maharashtra. This is Mr. Pratik Kataria. So he is our MIS person. <laughs> Every, everything is, uh, we uh, trouble him for MIS purpose. One more, sir. Deputy Director. So I request uh, Deputy Director, sir, to come on stage. Careful, careful, careful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If anyone is having doubt, you can uh, write to us through an email. So please note down our email ID PMFME PMFME MS at the rate gmail.com. Any queries can be dropped on that email and will be answered on that. Thank you very much.